everybody. Welcome to Thought Song. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I am your courtesy clerk at Kmart, Fred Hanrahan. Ah, the K stands for Kush. Hey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's right. It's the special 420 episode. It's the day, y'all. The day finally came. We've been waiting all year. The <laughs> ultimate in Christian holidays. Come sample, sample the dank platter I have of many different strains at Kmart. Again, the Kush Mart. April 16th. It's April 16th, Monday, y'all. April 16th. Yeah, it's April 16th. <laughs> this episode will be up on 420, but we're getting into the spirit early. It's like a whole week of holiday. That's that is sure. Yep. Sure is. Who is that speaking there? What is that? Who is that for? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, my name is Samuel the Inquisitor Risley. <laughs> Do you want to explain, explain that one a little bit? I have been playing a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition. Okay. Divinity mm, Original okay. Sin 2 and Warhammer Vermintide 2, all of which have some form of Inquisitor in it. And by Inquisitor, of course, he means Inquisitor of Strain. <laughs> Cause it's oh. you get it, it's the weed I one. Get it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you get high and you sound well, like that dude I'm like, from I'm, Spongebob. The, I'm like, I'm like the Inquisitor that inspires the paranoia, the paranoia you get when you smoke a little too much. Mm. You're yeah. Like the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. Except, except it's just a dude with a Jufro. Well, how do you know? I got a haircut. <laughs> No. No, the, the truth pro lives on in your heart, Sam. It, yeah, it, it truly is a part of your personality. It's not a haircut it anymore. It's who you are. Yeah. What if I want to be more than that? And then I just, like, bust into a musical number, like something from... I don't know. I feel like there was something in High School Musical about it. About the, about the Spanish Inquisition? I yeah. think Yeah, I, I can't I'm, remember I'm like quite that scene. I'm, like, 90% sure there was a whole song where it's like... It's the Spanish Inquisition. Dun, 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 dun. Woo, Go coming the... for us. Prosecuting yeah. the Protestants? When you, when you first started singing that, before you went to the instrumental breakdown, I was going to be like, no, that's that's very superstitious. <laughs> oh. It's very the Spanish Inquisition. Dude. Blood upon the walls. <laughs> they, they persecuted Protestants, right? Um... They persecute a lot of people, I believe. That's a good point. Anyway. <laughs> Who's that third person that we always seem to forget to let go? <laughs> Wait, like, are you firing me? Is that what this is? <laughs> we always no, forget to fire I, you. We just yeah. can't, After we every just recording, all... we want to let you go, but <laughs> we, just we just forget. forget. Yeah. I mean, just let, too much forget to let age. talk. <laughs> I'm a DeviantArt user Blunt Sucker 69, aka Cyan Haskins. Ugh, you can I get... just ah oh, damn it! I thought of a better one for me. Can I start? Can I do mine again? Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, sure. Over. It's me, Samuel UFO Master 420 Risley. Yeah, you know weed comes from space, dude. It takes it on another level, go. dude. Oh, what a trip! Oh, I'm tripping what a trip on. balls. <laughs> Uh, can we get back, can we get back to the deviant art thing you just said? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can we can discuss my what deviant. What was it again? Art. What was that? Uh, Blunt sucker sixty nine. Four twenty. No. Oh. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not like tacky about it. Like I'm not annoying. Yeah, it's very subtle in your work. It's ve- it's 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 a uh, classy. It's very classy. That was either a trash bag or a dying bird, but I saw something fall. Cool. <laughs> And I guess, <laughs> I guess with window. that, we can go to our first subject. Who wants to Wait. go? I have a social anxiety story. Oh, oh okay. Never so mind. we're starting with the story? Never mind. Okay. I get... Yeah, no, no. No, let's hear it. Oh, no. I thought that was the, I thought that was the joke. I thought it was like a joke. <laughs> like, it was like, I got a social anxiety story for y'all. Uh, uh, uh ne- never mind. <laughs> Like I um, thought that was the build up. Cuz Sam Cyan, mentioned this joke before we even started recording, so I It was wasn't like, even a joke, but like I said I have a social anxiety story and then I got anxious about telling it. 
Exactly. Yeah, like, no, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what she's saying. But I recently got a pretty decent paycheck because I worked a lot of hours and got a good amount of commission. Mm-hmm. And uh, at the same time, the bottom of my old shoes had completely fallen out. So I needed to get new tennis shoes for work. And okay. I went to Academy and was searching for shoes and i was like you know what i'm gonna go a little bit more than i usually do and i was i was like i'll make a fi- i'll have a 50 dollars bu- budget for shoes and then get some like new socks Treat yourself. because i was like i'm gonna be on my feet all day with this job so i might as well get something that's comfortable yeah and so i found one that was like some nice shoes and they were on sale for 50 bucks i was like yeah yeah so then I went, and, I, and then I was like, all right, socks time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to really splurge on the socks. Got to keep my feet wrapped in good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so get, get, get that I, quality I, I got some I got some really good pairs of socks. And then I go up to the counter, and I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, yeah, sale. I'm good. And then they ring up the shoes. And it turns out the sale ended the day before I bought them. Mm. And so the shoes were like, 60 to 70 dollars so sam and at that point i was like i'm already at the register it would be too much for me to be like i'm gonna put these back and find a new one so i wound up just spending like 80 bucks oh rather sam. Than just be sam sam oh, I was like, no. and there were people in line behind me and i just didn't want to be that person you could just have said oh i thought the sale was today i'm not gonna buy these and then you could have just not bought no. them and then you could have gotten back in line later <laughs> like i said it was a decent paycheck so I, it wasn't like too big of a loss but it was still more than i meant to but at the same time i've never had shoes more comfortable than this well that's good <clears throat> another thing you could have done you could have like pulled on my mom and just said um i thought the sale was today could you just like could you just give the sale to me because that's that works no, no, they, no like man. they probably would have done I, it Brett, I would have been like, I there was a sign that said, Sale? Can I get that, please? And then they would be like, No, get the fuck out of our store. <laughs> Who do you think you are? And then they beat you upside the head with a baseball bat. They beat me with the shoes. They beat me with the shoes. <laughs> this is also the same academy I got rejected a job at, so I was kind of like already on edge. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm are you wearing the shoes now, Sam? I'm wearing the socks. I'm inside, so why would I wear shoes? I don't know. We're inside, and we're wearing shoes. Yeah, I thought you might want to, like, get in character for the story and, like, make sure you were immersed in the lore. Yeah, I guess you're just not as uh, committed to the craft as we are. I'd rather not relive that that terrible moment in my life. (laughs) Okay, uh, let's get on to our first segment now that Sam has aired out his dirty laundry. Yeah, his dirty shoes. Yeah. I'm going to add, like, a bit of psst there. Because of how, how funny that was. Come on. <laughs> no, Thank I kinda, you. I kind of like the silence and then you explaining what you're going to do. <laughs> I kind of like that. I think that makes it a better joke. Yeah. Find a way to make that funny somehow. Uh, who wants to go first? We didn't do any pre-planning and we're almost 10 yeah. minutes into this episode. Sam, what about you? Yeah. You've gone last, like, the last two times. How about you go first to dine? To dine. All right. So today I have for you a dream in rhyme Mm. that sounds like a most awful time. Can you you present it like a bard? Yeah, yep. Uh, A terrible dream, I wish I was rid, this nightmare I've had since I was a kid. A monstrously gigantic great hatted cat, the Mike Myers abomination in fact, Mm. On a dark stormy day, or perhaps it was night, the beast wrecked and raved the city's great blight. <clears throat> a five-year-old what? child I was, nothing more. I watched the cat thoroughly wreck aft and fore. Crying in f- er, cringing in fear, I shouted cripes. <laughs> and then I found some refuge behind some big pipes. After some exploits and escapades more, my brother had led me to his basement floor. A silence most quiet then suddenly strikes, as if my heart pierced by knives, swords, and pikes. Mm. The monster appeared, although seemed quite changed. Now he is small, a new cat most strange. 
I glance to his hand, and to my surprise, the man's got an axe and a gleam in his eyes. Oh. I wake in a sudden, heart-stopping cold sweat, and sigh in disgust at the bed I've just wet. Ha. Oh, oh, okay. It seems well, that like suck to hear. It seems like a couple yeah. details of that might have been made up to keep the flow. Yeah. But... Of of the rhyming, but Sam, could you just give us a basic like one sentence? What happened there? Basically, this man is terrified of Mike Myers' cat in the hat, and had a dream where that Mike Myers' cat in the hat came at him with an axe and killed him. And his brother helped the cat kill him. I see. Well, everyone, when you become an adult, you legally have to be afraid of the Mike Myers' cat in the hat. Yeah, you have to, like, register to be afraid of it and everything. Yeah. If yeah, you don't, it, you can get yeah. fined. You, you have to prove that you are, you do have a fear of the Mike Myers cat in the hat before you can get a license, okay. uh, before you okay. can, like, buy drinks at the bar. Say what we will about the Mike Myers cat in the hat. It is terrifying. Yes. Yes. However, the fucking cupcake kitchen scene is one of the greatest cinematic scenes in history. I was scared because I thought Sam was going to be like, okay, we all know it's scary. But, but it's kind of hot. hot. It's a little, it's he's a little, a little sexy. hot. Just a little bit. Come on. Uh, just he's, a little bit. He's, he's got some tight abs in that in that suit. You you, oh. you know you see that butt. <laughs> That's a that 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 plump little cat butt. What Sam? Could you remind me of what the cupcake scene was again? Could you run me through that? You know the one where like. The, the kids are like, I want to make cupcakes. And he's like, okay. And so they made it like one of those uh, weird infomercial things where they're like, they talk about the right. product and whatnot. Yeah. And he's and like, the cupcake and night. And he's like, you can make cupcakes out of anything. And the guy's like, anything, 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 anything. I will end you. And I, I mean, it, it'll look like a bloody accident. And then just, you know, that. Yeah, dude, I, that was a pretty great scene. But and then he cuts off his tail. Yeah, and that's ah, uh, oh god. I'm sorry. Sign just showed me a picture of the Mike Myers cat in a hat, <laughs> and it's worse than I remember. Yeah, because I was oh, thinking it's... about it, and I was like, no, like, how is everyone universally scared of it? It's not that bad. And then I googled it. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's what? a cursed. There's a cursed item in my apartment. Oh, and it's. Wrong. A copy of the DVD of the cat Mike Myers Cat in the Hat. Well, see, that's the thing. When you become an adult, you have to be afraid of Mike Myers Cat in the Hat, and you also have to be in possession of at least one like DVD or pirated copy or Blu-ray of Mike Myers Cat in the Hat. I don't think there's a Blu-ray uh... copy of it. However, I will say yes, as it serves as a warding spell to keep the Mike Myers Cat in the Hat from entering <laughs> your abode. <laughs> there, I have a photo here. It's like it's like an appeasement ceremony. Yeah, it's like I've I've honored you, so please don't kill yeah. me. I, I have a photo here. Um, I want I want Brett to put it up if he can. Um, yeah, sure. It, it's it's Mike Myers, but like his face isn't blended into the cat suit, and he's not wearing the hat, nor is he wearing the bow, nor oh, nor the paws, and he's like waving. <laughs> Put it in the Discord for me, please. I, I, I'm gonna send I gotta it on, see this. I sent it in Telegram because I don't have Discord on my phone. Um, oh, okay. And he's, he's, it's just the cat in the hat with fingers. Yeah, and like his body looks all weird. Oh. Like, without the bow, it like really throws oh, everything no. off. Yeah. And why does oh, he have the, like a little no. alpha, alpha thing on top? Right, like. Is that where the hat, is that like how they keep the hat in place? I don't like the like fucking Naruto ass gloves he's wearing. <laughs> you you can't see it under all the fur, but he's wearing a Naruto headband. That is canonically part of the Cat and Hat character. Uh. It actually wasn't. It as, actually wasn't um, Sasuke's brother who killed the Chiha clan. It was the Cat in the Hat. It was the Cat in the Hat. Oh, Itachi was just they, a scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, and it was because they didn't have a copy of the Cat in the Hat DVD. They didn't respect him oh boy. or fear him, so he. Little it, did you know, the nine-tailed fox in Naruto was actually just the more, most powerful version of Cat in the Hat. Yeah, it's the form Cat in the Hat takes when a whole town does not have a single copy of the Cat in the Hat DVD. 
when when they disrespect his authority and his power. And mm-hmm. they've also never seen that one Smash Mouth video with the cat in the hat. Do you I'm sorry, that? the what? This Yeah, Smash Mouth did like a song for Cat in the Hat and there's a music video for it. And yes. what? Mike Myers is there. Yeah. I forgot what song it was though. How I don't think I it was All Star. Seen this. Also, speaking of Smash Mouth, apparently pl- they're playing somewhere near me soon. Oh shit! Ooh, d- we need to go to that. Looks camp? like we're going to Denton. Ha! It was yes. like for a Texas Rangers thing or something. Like the baseball team? Might as well yeah. be walking on the sun. Hey, don't be late. Act now. Supplies are running out. <laughs> He's got to get, like, a Texas accent for the Texas Rangers tour. I love watching every single live performance of, from, like, 2010 onward of Smash Mouth. I haven't seen one where he doesn't get mad and stop the song, <laughs> and he's like, Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> like, to someone in the audience. Like, every show he does it, apparently. Well, because every show, I'm sure he gets so much yeah. crap for the Shrek thing. And, the like, all the other th- crap. <laughs> The 21st of April, Smash Mouth will be playing in Arlington, Texas for a Texas Rangers concert. Hmm. How much are tickets, Sam? I'm looking it up right now. All right, because, I I mean, I got to see Smash Mouth at least once, right? Oh, and he probably also gets pissed, like, I ate the eggs! I ate the eggs! What more do you want from me? Yeah, Right? Like, (laughs) he he already paid his penance. Yet we still ask more from him. What more could we want? <laughs> he ate the eggs. I'm, With I'm Guy gonna... Fieri. Ugh. Life sucks. Life's not real. Anyway, I bought weed from Cat in the Hat uh, not too long ago. Oh, yeah? yeah. What strain yeah. was it? Uh, he sold me a gram of Pineapple Express, actually. Oh. I thought I thought it'd be like hoob, hoobladoob shibbly bop. Like mm-hmm. some fun Dr. Seuss word. No, no. He's serious about his uh, business. He, he yeah. He's on a tight, like schedule he has to make sure to get everything out you know he wants everything to be fresh and he wants to make as okay, much profit guys. as possible yeah tickets start at 23 dollars and go up to 230 dollars that is bad yeah no we can all get the 230 dollar ticket <laughs> look yeah. we're gonna see smash mouth we're gonna see smash mouth you know oh man for there's no $69 option. You said it was 20 what dollars? 25? 23. 23. Oh. 23 for the cheapest. Mm. We could do that. And they're like way in the back, off to the sides. Well, yeah. Well, that's fine. As long as we can see a screen. Yeah. Then like, I'm Gucci. Mm. That would also, the, the thing is, the concert takes place after a baseball game. So we'd have to go watch a baseball game together. Oh, hmm. <laughs> that I would watch a baseball game to see Smash Mouth. I think you know what I think it's you worth know? it. Yeah, I, th- I think I'd do that. B- baseball isn't the most fun sport to watch, but for Smash Mouth, I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. You know what? I would kill to go see a hockey game with you guys. That'd be fun. Sam. Avery, Avery really wants to go see a hockey game. Ah, oh, they're lit. Ah, oh, they're so fucking great. Uh, I I forgot one of the things that happened to Sam in college was he became a hockey fan. I forgot that we were on a podcast until you like started oh, yeah. talking about <laughs> Sam in third person. I just like started having a conversation about like <laughs> what we're gonna do on Saturday. Where did the why are these yeah, mics here? <laughs> Hi, listeners! Welcome yeah. back to Thoughts on. I just started thinking, and I was like, "Bro, would you would you be able to like drive and like we can go see a hockey game like another time? Like it'll be good." <laughs> no, we we could, y'all. If you, you know, y'all get on the Discord, we could all talk about it <laughs> together. How we're gonna get into this hockey game? Okay, wait. Okay, I forgot that we're on a podcast again. Let's go on yeah, to our next 20, thing. We're yeah. twenty minutes in. Let me do my. I've thing. only gotten one segment done. Okay. Let's see my thing. I want to save the weed thing for last. Okay. All right. Uh, this law, I mean, it kind of relates to it a little. It kind of relates. It more more to the legal side of things, I guess. Uh, this one comes from Brookfield, Wisconsin. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, in Brookfield, Wisconsin, tattooing is illegal 
unless it is done for medical purposes. A what? medical tat. A medical tattooing uh, is illegal. The the whole thing, unless it's for medical I, purposes. I have this tattoo of my dick on my neck, and it's for medical purposes. <laughs> It, it, uh, you know, it helps me, uh, it helps me sleep at night. I have insomnia, yeah. but whenever I see that, my, my little neck dick in the mirror, it just, it just, my little neck, go right to sleep. I don't like that. <laughs> my You're the little one that neck said dick. It. Neck dick. My oh. little neck dick. It's like two things. It doesn't sound like a tattoo anymore. When I see the little dick that's on my neck. <laughs> oh, no. That just kind of flops off the side of my neck. Uh, I just okay, you know how I'm s- not I'm not I'm not awake anymore. I want to go to bed now. You know you know how smokers have that like hole in their neck if they've smoked too much or whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Are you saying that would be a good place to put like a monkey butthole or something? Yeah, just like a little neck dick right there over that hole. What, 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 what part of the dick would the hole go over, Sam? No, the dick would go over the hole. To cover it. Well, you that can't. Not as... You can't cover the hole. You can't cover it up. You can't, as Pete Wentz once said, you cannot cover it up. The hole where, where you have to breathe. Is the smoker. hole like, the penis of the head? Like, is that what you're getting at? Are you Are you just saying you put like a sticker, like a penis sticker over the hole, so you like? I've now realized I completely misunderstood what that hole was for. What did you think it was for? Just like storing coins? Like, <laughs> I don't know. What if, they, I, I didn't they, really know at all what it was for. I just knew it was there. They use it to like talk and yeah, breathe, they, right? Yeah. I knew they used it to talk, but I didn't know it was to breathe. I unless I'm, I I mean I don't know too much about it. No, it, it is there to 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 those to do those things i mean it doesn't play like a song or anything when you blow out of it i don't know what you were thinking it was for sam but yeah what do you think it did i I knew it was to help them talk because like something happens to their vocal cords right yeah like they fuck up their windpipe or whatever so Uh, what what possible medical purposes could tattooing could it be i looked at the full text and it did not help at all I tried to look up medical tattooing and I didn't find anything. My sister was telling me the uh, yesterday about the, this is totally off topic. Uh, my cool. sister yesterday was telling oh. me about this thing where like you go and this person like is like I will give you a tattoo, um, and you go in and okay. this person picks your tattoo for you. Like they sit there and they're like sit and breathe and they and she burned sage and then she just tattoos you. And she's like, this is what I think your tattoo would be and where it would go. So people uh-huh, pay this... sage, quote unquote. So this p- person, the people go and like pay her and then they sit there and they like close their eyes and meditate with her. And then she tattoos whatever the fuck she wants on them. Mm. And this one dude was like, yeah, I'm pretty logical. So I think I'll get something symmetrical. And she was like, it's going to be a snake. And the snake's gonna have a flower, and she like talked all this shit. He got sperm tattooed on him. Ah. <laughs> well, I was about to say like a go in like, yeah, I just want something you know that speaks to me. And she's like, I think you, I think you got a great spot on your neck. I think I, could... yes, I see it now. I see what can go on your neck, and it's a dick. Yeah, the neck dick. The the neck dick that helps you sleep at night. The nick. Oh no, that's not good. That's just Nickelodeon. Ah, ah. <laughs> maybe maybe the tattoos are like scented, like you know, like scratch and sniff tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Oh and god. And you sniff them, and it's, it's like soothing to you. If you, you know? scratch mine, it's if you scratch my neck dick tattoo, it smells like that weird like kind of smell you get after a sweaty day. Yeah, it, mm. you got that swamp dick the going nice on. Musky... The nice musky swamp dick. Yeah. Musky husky. The musky husky. And that can take us straight into our next, into our last topic. Oh, can it? Yeah, m- musky husky. Yeah. Right, whatever, that was what you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think this goes right into it, right? Yeah, so anyway, here's my thought. Furry porn should be, <laughs> should be legalized. <laughs> should be legalized. <laughs> 
<laughs> little known fact, uh, furry porn is illegal in the USA. Um, no, so, so this is, this is a thought, uh, it says when marijuana becomes legal, 420 will just become another commercialized holiday. Oh, I love oh, this. Oh, capitalism. Hey, uh, hey, man. exactly what's going to happen. People, like, yeah. you're going to go to Party City and people are going to be selling weed hats and weed glasses and, like, commercials and, like, cards and shit. Costumes. It's going to become just like Valentine's Day. And everyone's going to be like, when you don't smoke pot and you're bitter on 420. <laughs> yeah. All the memes. The, gri- the uh, every, every night on f- 420 Eve, we pray <laughs> to the Saint Snoop. Yeah. And then Snoop Dogg comes down your chimney, and he, uh, you know, he just he just gives you nugs in your in your pill cases. What if Snoop Dogg was just like, y'all? I've never done drugs in my life. I've never smoked weed. <laughs> He's like that other it rapper. It was all a that, character. Like, yeah, I didn't. I don't actually do drugs. That's a character I have in my mm. music. That's not what Snoop Dogg sounds like. I didn't even try to do an impression. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what that was. I don't know. <laughs> But <laughs> no, Snoop Dogg. He might as well not be doing drugs anymore because he does it so much. I don't. That like his tolerance is just so built up that like. Yeah. <laughs> like he doesn't like that's just who he is. That's his state of being. He either has to like. Yeah. He either just doesn't smoke at all anymore because it doesn't do anything, or he has to smoke like seven ounces a day in order to like. Get places high. that have like no places that have like no smoking signs just like make an exception for snoop because like mm. they know he'll cease to be <laughs> if he stops because like at this point snoop, snoop is like 99.99 percent weed smoke gas yeah that's like exactly he's basically a gin <laughs> if you if you blow on him too hard he will fade away he'll be blown into the wind <laughs> and that's no, but that's the thing. We have to do that in order to legalize him. We have in order to le- in- legalize him. In order we to legalize him. We have to make a sacrifice. Weed, <laughs> we have to make a sacrifice. Snoop is here, and he's like, "Please free me." But all of us are like, "Snoop, we love you too much." And he's like, "No, it's for the greater good." <laughs> if you free me, weed will be legalized everywhere. And we're like, "But we can't lose you, Snoop. Can't lose you, Snoop. We can't. We can't lose. You're such a treasure. You're a treasure to everyone." I would y'all would y'all sacrifice Snoop to get weed legalized? I would not sacrifice Snoop. I don't think I could. D- but that meant could. that even after that, even after Snoop died, weed would never be legalized. I think he what? I think he would do it. I think he would do it himself and we would never get a say. I think yeah. that's like you I were think, saying. I think I think when Snoop Dogg dies, it'll be like a scene from like any Star Wars film where like a good guy dies and they just like leave, be- they just vanish and leave behind their clothes. But instead of just like leaving nothing, it'll just be like, and as like weed smoke just <laughs> yeah, floats no, up. Yeah, yeah. And then everyone within a five anyone mile. Anyone within a 24 mile radius yes, completely yes. stoned. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, he, he'll, he'll never leave. He'll be a ghost and he'll watch over us and make sure. We don't get so high we bark. He becomes he becomes one with the air. <laughs> yeah, he becomes no, he straight up Snoop Dogg just becomes one with the force and just is like Snoop Dogg is the physical embodiment of the force. Snoop Dogg was made from midichlorians and is the chosen one of the force and will bring balance to the left and dark side. <laughs> the prophecy says that he will save us one day. <laughs> I like I like the other idea where like in like Let's just set up three ideas. Now that I'm getting into this one, we have the one concept where he turns into smoke. Okay. Now let's do the solid. I, I, I and we have this fantasy where he can like, where when he dies, his body just <laughs> turns into a pile of weed, <laughs> <laughs> and we all just like everyone gets a bowl. Everyone in the world gets to walk up with their bowl and just scoop up There's a bowl like, full of weed. Oh my god, we have a Viking they, no, they bur- like wa- burial. They like walk up and grab a bowl and they like walk up, grab a bowl, bow and say, "Thank you, Snoop Dogg. Amen." And then walk away. Yes. And you know, everyone everyone gets a little pinch, right? And then we just yep. burn the rest. We burn the rest for the earth. 
and for everyone. And then he integrates into That's our right. atmosphere. Yep. And he protects Earth us one. from the sun. So either way, if he turns into a solid or into a gas, and we skip the middleman of just smoking beforehand. Yeah. He, he protects us. If he's a solid, he turns into a gas anyway and protects us. Mm -hmm. Now he has to turn into a liquid. CBD oil. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, well, cannabis oil. <clears throat> cannabis oil. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know why I said CBD oil. That's the first thing that came to mind. And then we smoke it and then it gets vaporized and the smoke goes in the air. Okay, we figured it, it out. He protects us. Maybe he, maybe there's three snoops. There's three forms of Snoop Dogg after he dies. Solid, liquid, and gas. And they all eventually turn into our new atmosphere. And I don't know. Are we just kind of high all the time after that? I don't I don't think we're high, but we're always, we're like on good vibes and we're all chill. Yeah, everyone's happy and everyone, like, we found world peace. And yes. then if we want to get extra, we can now because it's legal. Whenever it rains, Snoop Dogg blesses us with his, with his, you know, dank dank liquids and we could just smoke anything yeah anything <laughs> anything you smoke will get you high from we'll now burn on. the world down thank but in a different God. way than everyone expected <laughs> yes it's gonna be a very chill very honkery way End we're all gonna world. get the munchies yeah <laughs> so anyway that's what's gonna happen on the on the 420 after we get legalized yeah that's that's going on uh right now on this friday 420 yep uh 2018 that's what's going down snoop dogg if you're snoop listening dogg to this dying? <laughs> goodbye no snoop dogg's ascending and we're all living yeah he's ascending to a higher plane yeah he's sacrificing himself for us uh i'm gonna miss him you know what like we all will we all will but he's off to I'm better gonna places miss him a lot He's going to a better place, Sam. He's going to go legalize weed in the universe now. Yeah. As as he leaves, we have to prepare the memorial hymn. Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking deal double G. Snoop Dogg. Dog. <laughs> and we just have to like everyone in the world at the same time will scream. Snoop Dogg. Dog! He is sins. <laughs> his his spirit lives on. Yes. Dr. Dre we echo heard around the world, <laughs> and and kind of Dr. Dre's kind of there too. But he's like, Dr. Dre's there, and he's like trying to be like, I did it too, Dr. Dre, motherfucker. And everyone's like, we forgot about you. Uh, yeah, everyone's sorry. like, we don't know oh, who you, you made... are anymore, Dr. Dre. Yeah. Dr. Dre, you made those shitty ass headphones, right? <laughs> and he's like, no, I did a lot of things. And we're like, yeah, you're the beats pill well, guy. Well, yeah, no but you way. made beats, right? So like, you, there's no coming back from that. You made beats. Yeah. I literally, my ears start bleeding after I use them for three minutes because of your weird frequency thing. If you've ever worn Beats, it's it's bad. They're just the whole time. And also, Doc, he didn't sacrifice himself for our yeah. 420, you know, benefits. Dr. Dre was selfish. He was selfish. He used, he used it for his own gain. Yeah. Yeah, he was on the other side of the force. I hope Dr. Dre doesn't sue us. Make sure to check us out well, for, <laughs> for <de> defamation. <laughs> if, if he does, Snoop Dogg will be at our side. You're right. Snoop Dogg will protect us. I have no fear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, happy 420, y'all. You can check us out on Twitter. You can check us out at Gmail. Do we have a Twitter? Gmail. We don't. You can check us out on Facebook. <laughs> we have a we have a page on YouTube. Uh, we have a Discord. Well, yeah, that's where we put up our podcasts. I've hope I would hope we had a page on YouTube. Yeah, we we got all that stuff. You can find links to it in the video uh, in the description. You can check out our personal twitters. You could yeah, you can check out our personal twitters. We're we're looking to get Twitter famous. So if you can make that happen, that'd be great. Brett with Hanrahan with three T's. Yeah. At Brett Hanrahan. Yeah, because people know how to spell Hanrahan so well already. Yeah. It's not that hard, y'all. It is not that hard. It's really not. It's Han Brett Han Hanrahan. Found it out. It's fine. <laughs> Hand and get. Send us, send us your dreams. Send us your thoughts. Send us those laws. Send us your different spellings of Brett's name. Send you, just take a random guess. Don't even look. Don't even look at my name. Just, just try it out for yourself. <laughs>
<laughs> Brett, I still laugh about all the yearbooks with misspelled versions of your name. Oh my, oh my fucking god. god. Like y'all, it's my in writing. My favorite one is our middle is the middle school one where they like you were in it three times and they misspelled your name <laughs> a different way each time. <laughs> It was like my yearbook photo. It was like I was in rock club and I was in anime club. And every single time they spelt my name in a different wrong way. They don't they like have like a list of names anyway? Like shouldn't they be able to like, oh, we don't know how to spell it. Let's refer back to the book of names. The Apparently best, not. I think the best one was rock club said Brett Hammerhead. <laughs> Hammerhead? <laughs> like, I think I think someone at the yearbook had like spited me. I think they they, they had a personal grudge. Uh-huh. I love that we're airing this out now as the episode ends. The, I I mean, I need to let this air out. I, uh, uh. Join us next episode where we air out our grievances against Brett for not liking donuts. We said we'd do it earlier, but now we're oh, getting we to it. Oh, we forgot about it. We'll do it on the next episode. Make sure you join me and my sweaty that. boys, except for Brett, because he's not invited anymore. Because okay. we're going to be eating donuts in the in, in the sauna. Mm-hmm. Soggy yep. donuts. Soggy, soggy, moist, sweaty donuts. Mm-hmm. Oh, why'd you say that? Yeah. All See right. you next week. Bye. Bye.